Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Imagine you've got a boat and your boat is in dock and you're going to go out into the open sea. Are you going to just jump in the boat and go? I don't think so. You're going to make sure you've got enough fuel or if it's a sailboat that the sails are okay. You're going to make sure you've got supplies, that you've got water, that you've got everything that you need because once you're out there on the open sea, that's it. It's life and death. You know, you, if anything is missing, you know, if there's a leak in the boat, you're in big trouble and there's no help. You know, this is life and death. So when you're thinking about going out in your own life, there are certain things you need to be aware of. Hello, I'm Richard Beaumont. I've been in human design for 25 years and I'm here putting out information for people to learn from my expertise. When I'm talking about the, the boat, I'm really talking about what it is to be a generator or a manifesting generator. What is your boat? Your boat is your power. Your boat is your energy. Your boat is your life force. And all life forces are different. They're going to be different. You need to know what your life force is. If you go to the the red square, second up from the bottom on the chart, you will see the gates there. And there are all these gates. Now, you're not going to have them all. It's very unlikely you're going to have them all. You're going to have some. You may have one. You may have two. You may have three. You may have four. You may have five. But you're not going to have them all. That is your power. That is what you're available for. That is what you will respond with to something coming towards you from the outside. So, for example, if you're someone that has a sacral and you don't have the 42nd gate, which is at the bottom on the left, then you're not available to finish things. You're just not. You don't have that power consistently. If you don't have the ninth gate on the other side at the bottom, you don't have the consistent ability to focus on the small details. And so you go out into the sea, you go, you go out into the life, you know, expecting yourself to be able to do the things that you do not have power for. And life becomes very frustrating. And you beat yourself up and you think it's a big problem. The whole point of human design is to know yourself, to know what you are. This is not a, um, a moral system. It is a system that says this is the way it is. This is the way that it is. So find out. I've got a wonderful uh, video called uh, Way of the Generator um, by Ra Uruhu, the founder of uh, human design in the section under Ra Uruhu films on my website. He goes through every one of those gates describing the powers. You can find out for yourself. It's a very inexpensive way of finding out a great deal of information about you and what you're available for. The other thing, to understand about being a generator or a manifesting generator with power within you is that if you're not operating correctly you're going to try to push you're going to try and push your life in a particular direction in a particular way that may not be suitable for you and there's this meme going around you know don't give up those that succeed don't give up they keep on going no matter what no, no. If you're a generator or a manifesting generator and you've entered into something without response, give up. You're not going to succeed. You're going to, you're going to get the sacral to move in ways it's not used to, to try to do what your mind is telling you to do. It will not work. Too many times the generators go into things that are not suitable for them and then they give up and then they give up and then they give up and that's fine if you didn't respond give up if you did respond your energy will be there to continue 
people give themselves such a hard time because they don't understand who they are. Knowing oneself is the primary, the primary thing to do as a generator or a manifesting generator. Just as you have to know your boat really damn well before you go out into the open sea. Another way of testing this is what you meet in terms of resistance. Now, I'm looking at this as two, two ways of, of resistance. The first thing is, as I said before, when you're pushing to make things happen, where you want to get to it, or your mind says you can get to it, come from response. If you find yourself experiencing resistance, look and see what's going on around you. Is there still a response to continue? Was there really a response to continue? Don't keep pushing. You're just going to put unnecessary strain on you. And the other, the other kind of resistance is much more subtle and much more dangerous. It is that sense when we get involved with something and then we get comfortable in it and we get connected with people within whatever that world is, it's not satisfying, but it's comfortable. And so we stay with it. And people stay in jobs far, far, far too long if it doesn't suit them and they suffer and their life force goes down and down and down over time. And their available energy for what they are available for becomes less and less because they're using it in the wrong way. It's time to grow up. It's really time to grow up now. Generators and manifesting generators need to be involved with things that will bring them satisfaction, with things that will bring their life force into full blown use where they can use all their energy and have a life and be in the life and enjoy the life because of that. It's not a mental game. It's a game of energy. It's a game of involvement. It's a game of you leading your life, you in your boat out on the open sea being very fine. Thank you very much. Yes, there's a storm coming, but we've got enough ropes and we've got enough food and we've got enough water and we can take it. We're ready. Find out who you are. There's a video also on manifesting generators, a new release uh, just for manifesting generators that is also available in the video section. Find out, find out for your own sake, find out for the quality of your own life. You will not regret it. It changes everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please uh, help me to continue by liking and subscribing and sharing the video. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye for now.